and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is very exciting and very spontaneous. Um, I wasn't planning on filming this video until the weekend because I didn't think my order would be coming in time. However, when I was walking my dog this morning, because it's a Wednesday, I literally have to get ready to go to work um, and be there like in half an hour. Um, but when I was walking my dog this morning on our normal walk, I came back and noticed that the package had been dropped off at my gate. So today we're going to be doing a demo, first impression wear test of the brand new Kat Von D Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Foundation. I remember the day that I saw that they were coming out with this product on Trend Mood, I literally made a note in my reminders in my phone to buy this foundation the day it came out, which was February 6th. So I ordered it online, I got it two days later, and here we are trying it. We'll dive into all the good stuff, all the claims, all the hype, etc. So if you guys wanna see me apply this product to my face for the first time today, Fresh out of the packaging, brand new, and wear it for a full day. I do have to go to the office today. And maybe I'll even ask some of my friends at work to um, evaluate how they think the foundation looks on me. So yeah, without further ado, if you guys want to see me dive into this, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right, so we are obviously bare faced. Now this foundation, if you guys are familiar with TikTok, um, about a couple years ago, the Good Apple like Balm Foundation went viral. It was like the most like popular foundation. Tons of people were trying it because of how full coverage it was. The format of that was oddly reminiscent and actually kind of why I bought the Milani one. It's like a cream to powder. This one is way less coverage, but basically you you know dunk your brush in and then you paint it on your face. But that one gave you such full coverage. However. The reason why I never bought that one was because it wasn't conducive to my skin type. Um, that is more for like normal to dry skin because of how emollient it is, because of how like rich it is. I just knew that with my oily skin, it would just break apart on my face like that. So lo and behold, a couple years later, they have come out with this guy, which is targeted towards oily to normal skin. When I saw this and I saw the claims, I was so excited because I was like, this is a foundation that I feel like I would love. So the top three claims are that it's lightweight all day wear, transfer resistant, and has Keats leaf. I don't know what that is. Sorry, Keats leaf. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Keats leaf extract to help mattify, which is perfect for me. I love this unicorn. This was $42 on Sephora. I got the shade medium 045. I did see a creator on TikTok review like the darkest shade and I don't even think it was dark enough for her. So I think they need to do a better job at like creating more shades and tones to encompass everybody. Um, really like I think about that, like when they're formulating, how do you not bring in like different subjects to try to shade match and ensure that you're covering everybody? Um, I'm not an R&D though, so I mean, I don't know anything, but anyway, Let's dive into this. Uh, this is the full coverage serum foundation. You get one fluid ounce, which is pretty standard. I feel like $42 is a pretty um, standard price point. I feel like most foundations of Sephora range from like 38 to like 60 plus dollars. I feel like 42 is a good kind of, um, not good, but it's just like standard for like a high-end range of Kat Von D Beauty. And by the way, I actually don't even think it's called Kat Von D Beauty. I don't think Kat Von D is affiliated with this brand anymore. Um, I literally just think it's called KVD. Okay, here's what she looks like. She comes in a little like cardboard-esque sleeve inside the unicorn. Like I said, this is medium, it's 045. This is medium neutral. It's a glass bottle. I love the detailing. I love how slim it is. So I'm just gonna shake up real good. And actually, you know what? We're going to go in and prime my face. Like the rest of my demos and foundation wear tests, I still do use a powder, setting spray, and a primer. However, I do not use products like of those categories that are said to like super elongate or like mattify my makeup. The reason why I do that um, and I do those steps even when testing new foundations is because those are like my controls. Like I always, always, if I apply foundation, go with those products. So to me, it doesn't make sense to test the formula of foundation in a routine that I'm not actually using, AKA doing it by myself. So obviously the point is to see how it would wear like when I apply makeup on a regular routinely basis. So that is what I'm doing. So, alas, let's apply the Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. This is just like a smoothing primer and the, the freaking pump gets all janky because it gets like clogged with the product. I have some SPF on my face from my morning skincare. All I'm gonna do is just kind of put this in my targeted areas. My skin concerns are hyperpigmentation. I have a few hormonal breakouts here. These are all like dark marks, like acne, like hyperpigmentation because my skin is more prone to scarring. 
this is a nice pimple that I have right here in the middle of my face and then a few blemishes down here. But for the most part, like my skin is never going to be completely smooth and mark free without makeup. Like it's just the way that it is. I might not always have pimples present, but I will always have some sort of like hyperpigmentation present because of like pimples on their way out. So that's just kind of like the reality of my skin, which is fine. You know, I'm, I have a good skincare routine and I'm not, I'm not mad at it whatsoever. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's just get into this bad boy. Um, here's the pump. I'm just gonna take her on a brush. I'm gonna take this Rare Beauty brush. I have to wash my brushes. Um, this is just like the Complexion Foundation brush. I normally do two to three pumps, but we're gonna start with two pumps today because it says it's full coverage, so I have no idea. I'm just, okay, so that's one, two. All right, so it's on there. Oh my God, it's like a really good shade match. And this is full coverage, okay. I have always wanted to try the Kat Von D Beauty Lock It Foundation. That one is known to be a super full coverage foundation, but I never ended up buying it because people said it was like too heavy, but this one's supposed to be very lightweight. The texture is very liquidy. It's not thick, but it's a good consistency. Like I am somebody who pays attention, this is so weird, to like how the product comes out of the component, if it's easy to pump, how it dispenses, and you got two really nice pumps, and I feel like two pumps really is a good like medium to full coverage i am like a three pump max girly typically with the standard foundation i feel like with this if i was really doing a full beat i would do three pumps but two pumps is really really good coverage and it feels lightweight and on my face it does not feel like that tacky at all it feels very thin you know some foundations like they feel when they're really mattifying, they feel like they're like kind of sucking up your skin. This just feels extremely lightweight. And I usually do go in with spot concealer. I don't like to go in with a lot of foundation because I don't like all of that heaviness on my skin. So what I prefer to do is go in with like a little bit less foundation, like a couple to few pumps. And then I'll go in with like spot concealer on areas that I actually need it, you know, just for like that targeted coverage. I look matte. This is, this is mattifying. Uh, if you are dry, I don't think you will like this, but this is my skin. One application, two pumps. This could accentuate dry patchiness. I have a little bit of patchiness on my forehead, like where my scar is right here. I don't know exactly where that's from. I, I did my normal skincare routine this morning. Oh, maybe it's because I applied some like adapalene cream right there and then I was spreading it around. So maybe that's what the foundation is picking up on. I'm not gonna knock it against it just yet, but I feel so smooth. So lightweight. Okay, I'm really, really liking this so far. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and come back, show you for a natural light, and then we'll begin the wear test because I do have to like get to work. So see you in a bit. And I'm back. Okay, so this is my face all the makeup on. Everything applied very smoothly, no issues. Um, and I even applied like liquid blush directly on top and it blended out super nice as you can see. And then I went all over with a little bit of Drive Cosmetics filter lights translucent setting powder this one i honestly did not apply much because not a lot was coming out of the packaging <laughs> it's all good because even so i can really try to test out that transfer proof claim because there isn't a lot of powder on my face now i wanted to show you my skin one last time before i went and set my face down with a uh, setting spray this is like my normal everyday like going to office makeup i literally just do like a bronzer or brown shadow in the crease some black tight light and mascara that's literally it um i'm in a different like kind of nude lip today i went with color pop which is like been stripped, they don't have it anymore, and it's like older than I care to admit, but it's still fine. So um, let's go ahead and set my face down with a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is like my go-to, it's amazing. That's literally all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. So if I look like a grease ball at the office, oh well. I literally have to leave in like five minutes. I'm gonna take you to my window right here without any other lighting and just show you what my face looks like in natural light. All right, here we are in natural light. This is what my skin looks like up close. Yeah, what do we think? I am so impressed with how easily this blended out, how liquidy it was and how lightweight it was. Lightweight is what keeps coming to mind with how full coverage it was. Like the first swipe, I was like shook. I was like, oh my gosh, it really is full coverage. Um, and I do look like I'm obviously wearing makeup. It's not one of those like, oh no, makeup undetectable. Like, no, I look like I'm wearing makeup. I look evened out, I look smooth, but it doesn't look like it's too much, which I really appreciate. So I'm going to get dressed head to the office and I'll check in with you in a little bit. Here is the final fit. Let's go. 
A few hours later. Okay, we are about, what time is it now? 12.30? 12.39. Oh, no. Four hours in. I'm going to have Carly come advise. What do we think of my foundation? I don't know, Mom. Is she going to be over us? I think. I think it's really good. Don't get to see It's supposed to be full coverage. I did two okay, pumps only. Full coverage. And, but I like did it very I light application. I like your highlighter and your like, bronzer and blush. Is sitting on top of it. Okay, like, that's good. It doesn't look gotcha. It doesn't look gotcha at all. Okay. Yeah, and your okay. concealer, I feel like, is blended well with the foundation, too. Thank you. But because it is full coverage, I think maybe, like, around the mouth. The, yeah, you can see the... Well, I blew my nose. So it says it's transfer-proof, but I'm sure there's a little bit of, like... Yeah. Which is to be expected. This is when you eat. Yeah. 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 But one thing, I, to your point, one thing I was saying, like when I was applying it, was that like the products like blend really well on top, which is why I, because I'm wearing a liquid blush and like, you know. Okay. Yay! So it's giving. <laughs> it is. It is giving. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It is 6 p.m. We are like nine hours in. Let's examine this foundation. I got home. I ate dinner, I had kava, it was delicious. I'm still kind of hungry, low key. But I am going to shower and just kind of take this off because I've had it on all day. So let's just examine this really quickly. So Hi guys, sitting here editing and the reason why my face looks so much more yellow is because the lights that I'm under are like soft, warm lights. Like they're actually lights in my kitchen that I literally replaced. So they were like softer and warmer and like yellower, if that makes sense, um, because I wanted it for the vibe. So that is why it looks like there's a huge color discrepancy. Of course, foundation can always look different like under any kind of lighting, but that is what accounts for this discrepancy. Okay, thanks. I had sunglasses on. You can obviously see like my sunglasses marks. I wouldn't say it's transfer proof, I truly don't think any foundation is transfer proof because it's like liquid or cream that you're applying on your face. It's meant to like come off at the end of the day. So I don't think anything's like truly transfer proof. Obviously you heard Carly, like my nose mouth area, like that's always like the first place to kind of deteriorate because you're eating. You're, I blew my nose a couple times so you can see there's like some red there. But I do think it looks like I'm wearing like a full coverage foundation. It's hard to explain, even though I only use like two pumps, so you can definitely tell this is more of like a, Mabel's trying to get the action, more pigmented product, but I'm not mad at that because two pumps gave me like such good coverage. I could definitely wear this on like a night out and I'm excited to wear it more. But overall, like touching my face, like I definitely felt my face like sweating a little bit, which is like weird to say, but you know, you can kind of feel it. And obviously like I look a little bit oily in my T-zone. I did not touch up at all today, but Overall, I'm like very happy with how this looks. Formula itself, really, really enjoy. Would definitely recommend if you're in the market for a full coverage matte foundation because obviously you guys know my current favorite foundation is the Lady Gaga foundation. I've also really been loving the Beauty Blender foundation again, but the Lady Gaga foundation, how I would compare, that one's more radiant, that one's a little bit thicker. This one is more matte and more liquidy but it still blends out really nice and has a nice consistency. But anyway, overall, I really enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you would pick this up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to sign off now and try to unwind the rest of my night. Um, and yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, please. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.